Well, hello and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. We're at home and uh, amazing, believe it or not, not much time spent at home these so days. so much to do. We've got an awful lot to do in the next three weeks. In three weeks' time, we head into Europe. Our first European tour for 10 years with a caravan or motorhome. And uh, the last time we ventured into Europe was in 2012. A lot's changed since then. And we're getting Smurf, our little blue camper van, our IH motorhome, ready for the tour. And this morning, we thought we'd just give you a quick update on Sophie. Yeah. It's quite um, warm having her on my lap. She, um, she's a bundle of fun. We just want to give you an update, really, on how Sophie is. We've tried taking this off twice, and she's she scratched her face and made her eye bleed. So we took her to the vets on Monday. They trimmed her claws, and they've also removed the stitches that were left there. They were dissolvable, but they were obviously a source of irritation. We've given her a bath. Um, she's absolutely filthy, weren't she? Yeah. Um, but it's four weeks tomorrow since the operation, so we're going to have to try taking this off again because at some point it's got to come off. So we're not we're a little bit worried about whenever we're going to get this lampshade off her. But yeah. eye wise, she's doing very well. Um, she's going to be groomed next week, so that will help. Yeah. She's got a lot of extra, um, gro you know, hair growth, hasn't she? Around her she's arm. quite scruffy at the moment. We've left her. Um, her grooming appointment until the last minute. Now, for those of you who are just joining us, um, three weeks ago, um, we took uh, Sophie for a major operation to have uh, one of her eyes, her left eye, removed because there was a mass behind it, which was also removed. And uh, Sophie's made an, a, a really good recovery. She's more like herself um, now. She was very quiet and yeah. obviously not not feeling at all good for so, uh, two to three weeks. Right? So bring you right up to date. That's yes. where we are. As you can see, Oscar is Oscar's perfectly happy. To, yes. he, he kept away from her eye. He went to sniff it and she told him off. He didn't come near it at all after that. Yeah. So we were really lucky. But he's yeah, obviously nice. tired today. Look at him. He likes his pillow. <laughs> or Sophie's. Oh, bless him. He's snoring away. Huffing and puffing. It's very warm still here in Ipswich. Yeah. Um, we've had quite a long, hot okay. summer this year. Okay, so we're, we're going to go outside. I've got to move Smurf from his sleeping position, take all the security devices off. So we'll get out there and we'll see you out on the drive. a quick update on Ethel, our little white car that we tow behind Smurf. Um, Ethel had a little side swipe by another driver and uh, she's been in the workshop and had all the little nicks and bumps uh, attended to. And here is Smurf. This is our VW Crafter, uh, VW Crafter IH motorhome which is um, 6.83 metres long. Um, so just under seven meters long and uh, if you haven't seen it before now is the time to have a good look at smurf we're going to be rummaging in the cupboards and uh, we're going to open the boot just here very shortly uh, brought the uh, bike rack out because we're going to be taking bikes with us on the european tour and moving into the van then i think sue is already in here so a little untidy in here at the moment, but there's work in progress. Um, and in the cab here, uh, we've got one or two things laying on the seats, which I'll uh, tell you about in a moment. The most obvious things that we've got to take is the crate that we use, the folding dog crate, which we use for uh, traveling with the two border terriers. Um, it folds up when we store that behind the seat here. Um, also Oscar's dog toys. There's one that's escaped there. Look. Yeah. And uh, those and the power so. oak as well. And we were going to be taking the power oak. Panel. I'm not sure if I'm going to take the solar panel because no. it takes space up. Ah. We're going to be on site, so we'll have plenty of time we've, we've to uh, got charge some additions it. that we've bought, haven't we? Shall we do that first? Um, I've bought some more of these bags. So I've got four this size, which is a medium size. 
they're really nice quality zip up bags and they weren't expensive and we've got four the large size so the idea is that we roll our clothes up so that we know like t-shirts underwear so we can, we can easy access it in the cupboards otherwise everything just falls out when you open the cupboard door doesn't that so that's those i bought some more pegs I don't know how many to pack because we're going to be doing our washing because we're away for six weeks. I think we'll have to. I bought this washing line because I thought after we've been away six weeks, we're going to need to have something pretty substantial to put a week's worth of washing in if we're going to do it weekly. So that's ever so lightweight and it's quite a substantial size. I've tried it in the garden already. Now it's a forearm, it's just two bits that you slot into each other. And what I like about that is the bottom of the legs have got a loop in, you get three pegs which are easy to hammer in, all colour coded, so it doesn't fly over in the wind. So we've got to find space somewhere to store that. Now, I, I need some. I need your opinion on this. Do I take an iron on holiday <laughs> with me? This is a little travel one, a little steam one, that I had for a present ages ago. I've only used it a couple of times. Did I buy that for you? quite cute. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> you know, quite a cute little iron. It's fairly heavy. Yeah, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Yeah, we'll take it. So I'm just thinking some of my dresses are cotton and viscose and they're a little bit of a mess. But um, anyway, we'll probably take that then. The travel towels. Uh, they're very lightweight, dry very, very quickly. Um, these are the more luxurious ones that feel more like a towel. I've had these for ages, used to take them on holiday. And then we've got the old traditional ones. Uh, they're really, really lightweight as well. See, I didn't want a lot of bulk in the cupboards, but we're going to be using swimming pools and things. So. so I have had a bit of a sort out a couple of weeks ago, and I've just left a couple of tea towels. Um, we've got three tea towels, a couple of um, pillowcases, spare hand towel, uh, and a little hand towel there. And then we've got our zip up sheets. We take them as spares. And I've just packed a couple of sheets because I think if it's going to be too hot, we're not going to want to sleep underneath a duvet. So I have already sorted this cupboard out and got rid of loads of stuff. So, so dare I ask? Everything in here I need. What's in that green basket? Electrical bits. Oh. And, that's at, the, and at the back here is... Um, a hanger with lots of little pegs on as if it's the lightweight you can put all your socks and your knickers on it oh yeah i'll put my <laughs> knickers on it on the on the area so that's staying there um well i have cut down a lot got my straighteners hair dryer a toothbrush charger we've got a spare socket we've got all these i'll put some in the little bag yeah, these extension Charging leads, leads, USB leads, and that little fan which you can carry around with you. That's brilliant. That is, you charge it up USB chargeable, or you can have it on a on a on a long lead and plug it in and have it running overnight. So, and I've got a spare one of these, which is always handy. So that's what's going in that cupboard. I think I might add the iron to it. I'll, I'll make me mind because it, the iron is quite heavy. Oh, and I bought these lights. It's a separate t topic. <laughs> USB chargeable rechargeable lights for our bikes and I'm really pleased they fit into this little Tupperware container so fit in there a treat that'll go in there where do you put your kitchen towels I mean that, they usually get stuffed in there don't they yeah so that's that cupboard sorted but this cupboard chest clothes we don't really have to do anything there obviously it's going to have a lot more in there yeah um just got a few uh, shirts got bags and... to put it all in, haven't we? Yeah. And this yeah. is it's still going to be the same. We haven't really changed that. That's our cupboard for all our bed linen. And I've added a couple of single sheets okay. in case it's too hot. So we've got duvet, duvet toppers in there. We've yeah. got uh, our duvets, duvets, all our pillows, and those sheets you've just described. This is no change there. It's my clothes. It's going to be a lot fuller. <laughs> That is your that clothes is cupboard. my cupboard for my clothes. Right. So okay. that's that. Yeah. Food cupboard. I've just got this little basket for odds and sods. Um, a bit of pasta there. Uh, we do struggle to, to find enough space for the food. So 
Um, sometimes it spills over into the next bit of the cupboard. Yeah, all these cupboards uh, go all the way through. There's no dividers in here. No. So um, that's a nice thing. You can tuck things in, longer so, so things. So this one, I've, I've got oh. rid of some of these tins because we've got all sorts of tins. I've got rid of the, the sugar one yeah. and I've got rid of the coffee one. So I've just got a sachet of coffee. These containers I'm not going to change. I'm going to need those. They're all collapsing. Little anyway. collapsing bowls and things. I'm getting rid of these bits. They're going in the house. So I can't. I don't think I can collapse that down any further. The end cupboard here. We can't do anything with that. So what's in this one? Because that one's got all our plates, and the calendar. Oh yeah. Uh, Mugs. Unless we're, gonna, unless we're gonna reduce it to two of Little everything. Little beakers and things. That's we've got four of everything, haven't yeah. we? And and tucked away in there, which there's I was looking for the light. other day, is a mozzie light. Yeah, yeah, and which two. will keep the mozzies off. Yeah. So that mm. one. Ah, uh, these cupboards. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with them. But one thing I have bought, which well, probably could do with a bit of a tidy up, I have added it to bits. Um, I bought, which is really useful, and a job to get them. Uh, ice cube bags. They're really good because you just fill them with water, you tie them in a knot and stick them in the freezer. And they don't take up as much space either. And when you want the ice cube, you just open the plastic and pop it out. So I was really pleased I managed to get some of those. You've got your, your normal cutlery drawer here, which uh, yeah, remains the same really. Yes. And um, the bottom one, we tend to put um, foodstuffs. Now that, oh there's a, oh look, there's a, there's a can of ghost ship in there. Oh. Oh, I might steal that later. Um, we probably won't be taking much um, canned food. I mean, there'll be a few things. When we go shopping um, in France, we'll be filling up that drawer and the cupboard that Sue just showed you. Well, we're now sorting the dog cupboard out. Much <laughs> to my disgust when we went away last weekend, I forgot to top up the dog poo bags. So luckily Sheila came to rescue, didn't she? But yeah. I thought we'd go for six weeks. Um, we're probably gonna need a lot of poo bags. Is there 50 in a pack? Yeah, <laughs> I've got five packs. Do you think that's a bit excessive? No, I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh... Uh, another thing we bought the dogs, we bought two gel pads that they don't like laying on, but I'm sure they'll have to if I put one in the crate. Um, and we bought them these coats. You call them vests, you soak them in water, cold water for a minute, wring them out and then put them on the dogs. Bit of a job to get the size on right, but it's better than nothing. So I've bought those. They haven't worn them yet. Well, one of the things that we're supposed to carry when we travel on the continent is a spare pair of spectacles. So uh, there we are. I've got my old ones. Um, a little bit. The arm is a little bit broken, but um, nothing. A little bit of sellotape can't fix. Hey, but it's a spare spare pair of specs, and they are prescription glasses. So. Um, and I think the, the prescription is pretty much the same as the previous one. But uh, you're supposed to carry a spare pair of spectacles for the driver. My turn to have a little sort out in this cupboard here, which is just below the electric panel. And uh, above the fuse boxes are all in there. I'll show you what's in there in just a moment. But this one, quite a, a squeaky door, is quite a useful um, cupboard for keeping man stuff, right? So we've got the uh, Brit stop book. I think we'll probably take that out. Um, we don't need that in Europe. The one thing I might need, because we're traveling with um, our Yorkshire friends, is my Yorkshire dialect book. Uh, I haven't got the, the French uh, translation book yet, but I'll get one of those as well. Uh, Sudoku, and then there's some little post-it notes in there, which we quite often use on maps and, and book for bookmarks and things. Um, nothing else in here at the moment, but, uh, oh, face mask. Uh, then here, I've got uh, some Posh Cats goodies. So in those boxes there, I've got four mugs well, three mugs and some key rings, um, and then uh, some battery chargers. Um, this is a, uh, an emergency face mask for res resus. Um, a shoe cleaning kit in the back there. And then uh, in this box, I've got my medication, um, you know, things that I need to take to keep me well. Um, and 
now I'm going to tuck a couple more things in there which are over here I've got a little basket here with uh, hand sanitizer, pocket sized ones really useful to, uh, to have in your pocket when you're cleaning the toilet and things like that. Um, I've got some some uh, lipstick things which are good for like chapsticks but they're, they're also uh, good to protect you against the sun and I've got the buzz off uh, which is like insect repellent. Um, all these other boxes have just been cleared out. Sue wants me to keep this. This is a pack away backpack which we grab if we're just going to go to the shops. Really lightweight, it's just a fabric thing. Um, but that I usually tuck down the side there. Down here now, I explained I've got the crate and the dog toys. Uh, just behind the curtain here is another cupboard. And in this cupboard, we keep um, the dustpan and brush and a little lap table which I use for my laptop with uh, it's got beads on the back that fits in there and then we've got all the electrics um, for the solar panel um, 12 volt and uh, the uh, mains um, fuse box and then this is a, the uh, charger which keeps the leisure battery and the um, van battery fully charged when it's standing on the drive um, also the solar uh, solar charger is there and the um, Wi-Fi connection for the solar charger is there okay in this bag here we have um, a warning triangle two uh, high-vis jackets and a first aid kit and we're going to buy, we'll just check that in a moment, we're going to buy the breathalyzer kits that you need to travel on the continent and uh, also I'm going to add in another triangle because some countries require you to carry two triangles and they will go in here. Now the cupboard next to the electrical cupboard here is the wardrobe and uh, there's a hanging rail in here with um, we're going to just keep some warm jackets um, and, and waterproof coats, a gilet, and this is also where the table storage is. So behind here we've got the oval table for the for the lounge, and also the little round occasional table, and the pole at it, um, that they sit on. And Sue's bought this little organiser here, which has got little compartments in, which also takes half the wardrobe up, so we can put shoes and. Uh, uh, waterproof coats and, and things like that in there um, so at the moment that's uh, needing a little bit of a rejig but uh, that's what will go in there some more clothes and things quite a useful space um, the, the cupboard above here uh, doubles up as equipment um, for the kitchen mainly and uh, the dog cupboard so um, as Sue mentioned we've, we've topped up the uh, the doggy poo bags and we've got the coats uh, the dog biscuits are in here and their bowls and usually there's some treats as well in there um, Oscar and Sophie both know that this is where they we go for our treats and as soon as they see this door open their little heads pop up we've got the um, the total cool box in here um, so it's drink, drinking container there's also two kettles there's a mains kettle and uh, a gas kettle in there, um, a little cutting board and a tray that we use for um, for the kitchen area as well. So they're all in there and no doubt there'll be one or two more things that will creep in there. Still a little bit of room left. Well, I'm now having a good old sort out underneath this bench. It's been a <laughs> bit of a hidey hole for alcohol, I have to say. So I'm afraid- Almost secrets. The dribble of talisk has got to go. Is that all that's left? Yeah. Two oh. bottles of wine. Well, we used to trick there, Kev. A we cheap could have had sangria a, that I got. We, we could have had a nightcap after all. This is going really heavy. This is a Kadak, um, the uh, little um, safari Tracy chef. Kev have got the latest one, haven't they, which is a tabletop one. Yeah, so tracing Kev. We've got to change that for our tacking yaki, which is very lightweight, don't take up a lot of space. So and, we're, and that's electric, isn't it? So, so we've got best of both worlds. These boxes may be helpful to go in the, in the boot, maybe, but they're going to have to come out. Aren't yeah, they? they're coming out. And we normally store um, bottles of cola and things like that in there. It's over the wheel, over the rear wheel. Um, and, and as you saw, a little a stash of alcohol in there. Yeah. Uh, adult beverages as I like to call them. 
So we've reduced down this um, under the bench cupboard to um, the box of wine that Sue doesn't want to take, the collapse shower and uh, pegs, the iron and the washing line. Now under this bench here we have the Truma that. boiler and we've just taken out some of the bits and bobs here. We've got an empty cupboard so we think we might store um, dirty washing or dog food in there um, because that's a useful uh, space. Well I've come outside now to the rear of Smurf again to the boot and I've opened up the boot here and emptied out all the stuff that was in there and some of it's going to be left behind. Now I've already rummaged through some three plastic boxes so I've already got uh, in the boot here are two folding chairs and folding table with a little stool with a tabletop as well that's all tucked in the side there this is the silver screen the external silver screen and I'm going to take that with us in case of very hot weather um, I've got a kneeling pad here which I usually tuck inside here so if I need to kneel down or do anything under the van um, and then I've narrowed it down to two small boxes so in this one I've got emergency things like a sewing kit a mini tool kit which has got little tiny screwdrivers in things like if we break your glasses or something like that you get a little screw missing um, there's a couple of bungee cords some uh, insulation tape um, various things like that and spare fuses for the van a uh, pot of WD-40 always useful and some screen wash um, got a little mini hose that you can join to the tap which um, goes into the watering can if we use that and uh, the European uh, plug adapter which uh, has a European plug here just in case some sites still have these old European type um, power points so uh, that then goes into the blue plug like you would normally have on a UK campsite okay and then in this box here I've got general tools so I've got a pair of pliers a small hammer some allen keys um, various screwdrivers and little things just in case of breakages um, there's a Stanley knife and there's some cable ties in there as well so that's a little mini toolkit. In this plastic box I've got my long hose which is a collapsible hose and a few tap adapters in case we need them. Unfortunately someone's eaten the chocolates already. And this is where we've um, put our tow rope, our jump leads that you saw earlier, a collapsing bucket and a few pegs. Now we might need a peg to um, hold up the windbreak which we're taking or the ground sheet which we're taking. The next thing to go in is the electric uh, mains cables. So I've got two here. One is a 25 meter and one is a 12 and a half meter and I'm taking both. They're not on um, a cable drum or anything so they take up minimal space. They're in this canvas bag which I can just put straight into the van. There's also a wind blocker, our collapse uh, grey waste pipes and the mat that we use for sitting out on if the grass is a bit muddy or dusty or if we're on gravel it's much more comfortable to sit on the mat. Now rather than take the large levelling wedges that we use, the Malenko ones that we bought with Bertie, I've found these um, smaller levelling wedges which will be handy if we do get um, a wonky pitch so I'm going to pack the smaller ones they come with the, the wedge uh, there to support the uh, wheel once you're up on the block whilst we're on the subject of um, storage space in the cab here just above the cab is a locker and we keep um, plastic bags in that thing um, there's some shopping bags to the right here in, in there. This is the uh, little stair gate, uh, child stair gate that we partition the van off when we want to keep the dogs down at the cab end. And these are the silver screens. And I've also got my camera tripod tucked right at the back there. Um, 
so that's uh, the over cab storage uh, there's a little bit more space in there if we need to pack anything i've got my hats and uh, various things there paperwork normally goes underneath my hats and sue's got her hats and sunglasses over on the other side there the in the door pockets we tend to keep microfiber cloths and on my side over there i've got um, the bike cover some microsoft a microfiber cloth and also an umbrella and my walking stick in case my knee gives me a bad day and another locker here that then between the seats um we've got a, a, an empty locker at the moment and we very often put uh, dog food in here or cans of food in here um things that can easily fit into that that space and uh easily accessible to the kitchen there's a few towels we keep for if the dogs get wet or if we've got mucky shoes we can walk onto those and uh, we always use the the bin in the door for dog leads and harnesses they're the last thing you need uh, or the first thing and the last thing you need as you go in and out of the van with the dogs well that's a good look around all our cupboards as we prepare for our journey to Europe Kevin and I will be doing a separate video for the essential items for European travel. They include all sorts of things like your insurance, um, like the covers for the headlights and all of the other things that you need when you've got a van and you're going into Europe. It's going to be a short punchy video which will just give you a shopping list of all the things not to forget when you're traveling. That's in another video coming up very shortly. So uh, if you've got this far, thank you for watching Posh Cats Camping. We're, we're getting very excited about our tour. Um, we'll see you on the next one when we're going down to Folkestone and we're staying at the Black Horse campsite the day before we travel across on Eurotunnel. We'll see you there. Take care. Bye bye.